Hello everyone and in this video we're going to go ahead and show you how to divide and repot your Saracenias. Um, we're going to repot this one. It's been in the pot about I think a year and a half. Question mark. Don't know exactly. I think it might have been two years but uh, yeah it's got a few divisions so we're going to go ahead and see how many new plants we get and whatnot. So we're going to go ahead and pull it out of the pot. Um, we're going to remove the top compost on top um, all that grassy stuff just because there's a lot of dead insects on top of that usually caused by the wind blowing the pitchers over and causing insects to fly all over the place so we're just gonna remove that just to keep the soil still nutrient free because I do recycle some of the you know soil that we take off of these um, here we actually found a little sundew which we're gonna go ahead and actually a little banana we're gonna actually go ahead and pot that later <laughs> just to you know make it grow um, but yeah we do this to you know keep the soil and like I was saying we do recycle the peat moss and perlite we just re-rinse it and uh, it's as good as new so so yeah it's just a matter of removing as much compost so we can get a visual on the root system um, just so we can see where we're gonna actually start uh, dividing just the easiest way to do that so yep Alright, so yeah, this is where the water comes in. We're going to go ahead and actually uh, just rinse a little bit just so we can see. And it also helps break down the, uh, you know, the compost. Helps uh, break the compost from the actual rhizome so we can actually see what we're doing on the root system. Um, our goal is to not break as many roots as we can. Um, we're trying to, you know, prevent, uh, prevent ripping any roots. Um, Obviously, it will happen. It, it happens, but we're trying to do. We're trying to give the plant as many uh, roots as we can. So here, we're just gonna go ahead and break them off. Um, and I believe this one will have about two roots, three, something like that. So that's a good amount of roots. I mean, for I guess a rhizome that size, we're gonna go ahead and put every every little well every bigger division in its own pot. Um, yeah, and this is one of the plants we actually don't have a lot of so we're gonna go ahead and definitely put it in its own pot I'm um, trying to give it a chance probably in two years we'll repot it to try to give it a chance to uh, give out a few divisions so yep so again, as you can see yep three three roots on that so or our fourth one up there actually little dinky one All right, so now we're just trying to scope out to see where we're gonna actually break off another one, cause uh, yeah, sometimes it's hard to break them off. If they're too hard, uh, we just leave them on there, just because they're probably not even ready to come off, and we're just like doing it. So, all right, so here we're looking at another one. I think this one only had like a. Okay, I just fling that like that. All right, let's do that. <laughs> um, I believe this one has about a root or two, so. Yeah, not a lot of roots, but uh, eventually it'll start growing, you know, more roots. It's just that uh, it's pretty clumped up there, so. Yeah, there you go. About th three, three, four. Two little ones and two big roots, so good, good. All right. And we're actually going to leave this like this because um, I think I tried to break off the middle, but it wouldn't break off, so I just left it as it is. Um, it is too big for its own pot, which is the one gallon, but I'm still going to try to just stick it in there, I guess. And, uh, I'll probably divide this mother plant in, um, about next year, so. Next year's, uh, winter. But we got two plants. No, oh, three in total. Um, there should be two on that mother plant, but we just couldn't break it because it was too hard, so. We just didn't want to damage the plant, too, so. So yeah, I'm just going to show you how to repot now. Uh, we're going to go ahead and repot the mother plant in this uh, half gallon pot. Uh, bought a bunch of half gallon pots. Should have bought a gallon, but didn't feel like it. So um, Here we're just going to cut some meshing. This really helps so you don't lose any soil. Um, because over the year, you'll lose soil eventually. 
but uh, this screen material actually helps to prevent that so you know the you won't be seeing your plant just falling down <laughs> down into the pot pretty much uh, which really does help which is a good idea to put on every pot which we're gonna do this year we didn't do last year but this year we're gonna do that so there you go we're gonna yeah yeah I think I, I think uh, uh past me I think you should like Put in some soil burrs. There you go. There you go. Catching on. Slowly but surely getting there. Alright, but as you can see, it is a little bit. The root system is a little bit too uh, big for this pot, but we're still going to put it in like that. Uh, we should have got like a three gallon for it, something, but I uh, wouldn't feel like it. We didn't think the root systems were going to be that big, on, especially not on this one. So hey guys, if you want to check out our store, it'll be simplycarnivorous.ecwid.com. Um, there's where we actually sell our plants. Uh, we also do have eBay listings, but you know we prefer to sell in our store. Um, and we do offer items cheaper than eBay. So, or actually, yeah, yeah. And we offer free shipping on things we can. Um, there, there's gonna be a point where we won't be able to offer free shipping on certain things, but for the most part, we're there. So yeah, guys, uh, that's it, and that's how you pot it. So thanks for watching. Go to stay tuned for our videos. Thanks.